good YouTube is your man BG Tech Life and finally we got it in-house guys been waiting for this for a minute guys um this is the Samsung Galaxy uh Z Fold 3 5G got it in the Phantom Silver as you can see we got the nice flat box with the uh Z on the front um you know Typical, but a box not expected. Watching all these unboxings, seeing a million unboxings and things of that nature. Shout out to everybody that grabbed it. But this is my first foldable, so these are gonna be my first initial impressions. And this box kind of got a lot of information on here. So as you can see on the side, we got the Galaxy Z Fold 3 5G, and on on the back, it's just you know it's AT and T, and um, yeah. We just gonna go ahead and get to the unboxing, guys. Let me go ahead and cut these little, I got my little makeshift little shank right here. Excuse me. Is this gonna cut it? Okay, there we go. Boom. It's time to get into this, guys. I've been waiting for this thing for a minute. And um, I felt like I was going, I was never gonna get it. I'm not gonna lie to you not. So as we go open up the box, here we are, blessed with the device, guys. My first, foldable uh device guys so let's go ahead and check it out go ahead and lift up on it hey boom we got some more private information to slide that off to the side like so and here we go guys oh see i wanted this phantom silver and i knew i wanted it for a reason guys that thing look good let me let me cover this up Cover these little stickers up, guys. I want to see what else is in the box. So we even get go ahead and take that off. And all I believe, everybody already know. We already, it ain't a surprise. It ain't no charge. I mean, it ain't no charging brick. It ain't no earbuds. It's just a cable type C type C cable. So this uh, unboxing these days are very light. Unless it's like a, I just did a blue phone. That unboxing was heavy. But um yeah guys, so let's go ahead and take a look at this thing, man. Let's go ahead and peel this off. Oh and peeling. And we oh we peeling. See this this is what I was waiting for, right? I knew it was gonna be doing get the sticker off, man. All these stickers trying to blow me up. But I knew it was going to be dope, guys. Like, I knew. Look at that. I wanted this color so bad. When I bought the S20, when I bought a regular S21, guys, and it didn't come. It came only a Phantom Gray, not the Phantom Silver. But this Phantom Silver is looking, looking right. Like, this is definitely something that's looking right, guys. Um, I like the finish. I like the look. I'm just impressed. Let me see. This is the, the the camera bezel looks better than I expected in person. In the you know compared to that big bezel that was on the Z Fold 2 and like the Note Galaxy uh, Ultra 20 Pro, whatever the Note 20 Ultra. This uh, camera bezel is a little toned down. So you know I like that. I like that real big bezel that was on the last one, guys. But yeah, so. Here we go, and this is our front screen, and we can see the, we can definitely see that there's a crease, but that's okay. We're gonna close it. Oh, it's not. Oh, wow, it's not that. It's it's not like you know. It's the, it's a definitely a solid close. It's definitely the hinge is definitely like everything, guys. Definitely the hinge is everything on this thing. Um, feels very premium, guys. Nice little weight to it. I mean, it's heavy. I don't, but like this is this might not be this is might be this is a lot of heavy this is a this is heavier than i think everything i got but i do have some heavy ass phones guys like that 12 pro max is heavy um the the the, the note is is uh, it's not as heavy as the 12 pro max i don't think but this don't feel that bad like you know what i mean to open up to open it up so what it is, and here we go. Okay, so it's not that bad, guys. I'm impressed. Let me see. Okay, boom. And this is okay. So we got we got a power button with a fingerprint scan. Looks like to be got the SD card slot. Okay, it's pretty dope, guys. Volume up and down, rock. Everything feels solid and quality. I like. I like this. I'm feeling this. As you can see, we got our speaker. We got our Type C down here. Let me go ahead and power it on, guys. We got some cell phone antennas up top and another speaker. So 
so I'm gonna just go ahead hit the power button. I'm powering it on. This is very nice though, guys. I love, I love this color. I'm so glad that I just didn't jump out there and wait on that black. I'm so glad for real that, you know, I, I, I waited, you know, cause the black, a lot of times when you get a black phone, that's the phone that you can get quickly. This guy like still like a matte finish. And as you can see, it's like a color shifting type deal, I guess, depending on the lights that's over top of it. But, um, okay, so we got to start up. Mr. Initial, you know, cut on my fault. But yeah, so we're going to go ahead and get this thing set up. And I'm going to come back with a few little first impressions, guys. Okay, guys. We set up here. And you can, you can hear it in my voice, right? Yeah, you can hear it in my voice. Like, I love this color. I love this bed. I, I don't doubt for one second. This is the most innovative piece of technology that's being brought out on a yearly basis right now. Um, but this form factor is like wearing on me. Like, I'm not sure. Like, I don't know if I want this, guys. I don't know if I want to go from a screen on the front to, you know, to the square. Like, I'm not sure if I want this. Like, I... I mean, not sure, not saying that I'm returning this device or anything like that, but I just need to, like, I just need to really find, this is my first impression. I really need to find a niche for this thing. I need to find some apps for this thing. I need to find a rhyme or a reason for this particular device, guys. Cause this is probably the second device in the couple, in the, in the year or two that I've had and it's like, you know, I get that immediate feeling like, yeah, this is nice, it's expensive, but I don't, I'm not exactly sure what to do with this thing, or I'm not exactly sure if this fits my workflow or my, just my recreational flow. So I have to find a rhyme or reason for this thing, guys. Cause yeah, I mean, it's very, this is a very premium. This is probably, one of the most premium things that I put my hands on um, in the past couple of years. Very premium. And the size remind me of like, the frame reminds me of that unibody alloy from the HTC 10. And I love that. And I love the fingerprint scanner built into the, I, li I like that. I like this fingerprint scanner power button. I've always liked that on other devices. Um, but I just gotta, it's gotta have a niche guys. It's a niche device. I've got to find some use for it. I've got to get it set up. And um, this is something that we just going to have to, I've got to make it work for me. I've got to make it worth it, you know? Um, the question is, you know, a lot of things, some people pay certain prices for products and, you know, you, me and you might say that's crazy or that's, but it's worth it to them, you know? And this is, I got to find a way to make this thing worth it, fit into my life, you know? into my you know it's just just gotta be it's gotta be a reason that i pick it up because right now it's hard you know just if i want to do something on the phone for me to say i'm going to pick this up because it's not really that convenient it's not really that easy the outer screen is mad skinny so and then i'm opening it up to not a 16 by nine, but I'm opening it up to a box. I could have picked up, I could have picked up, you know, if I want to sit down and take time and play with something, I could use my iPad. So we got to find a rhyme or reason, guys. I'm just being real with y'all, just keeping it honest, just keeping it funky for real. Um, it's not going away though. Definitely, it definitely looks slick. It definitely feel good. And it's definitely gonna be an eye catcher. So we gonna, my phone is blowing up. So we gonna bring the video to an end, guys. These are my, that's my honest first impression. I gotta find, I gotta find the rhyme or reason for this thing, guys. So Matt BG Tech Life, follow me on Instagram and Twitter, BG underscore Tech Life. I'm out, peace.